Ah, London. What a town. History around every corner, and a tourist photographing it. Pub serving up a pint and a smile. All that music, theatre and art, and multiculturalism. And the world's oldest underground, the Tube. The class of cities, really. Top shelf stuff. Only took 12,000 years to build it up, and one night to tear it all down. Status. Perimeter security's down, but plenty of your flying friends about. Fucking hell. Dalton, no time to waste. Yes, ma'am. I'm in. Any idea what we're up against, Bentley? If you haven't brushed off, I might. Ever consider leaving these security threats to the authorities? That's rich, Bagley. The government would sooner arrest us for trying to help than actually do something useful. We'll have to sort this one on our own. Carefully, Dalton. Bagley, are you detecting a little worry in Sabine's voice? Brilliant. Asking the computer about feelings. This explains so much. Shut it, you two, and get to work. There she is. you more than it hurt me do us a favor and keep it quiet Dalton if they don't shoot me I won't shoot them how's that Got loads of dead set gear down here. Now, why do you suppose that is? What? How did they get their hands on it? I don't know. But someone wants to make it look like dead set was here. Shit. You need to proceed with extreme caution, Dalton. <laughs> Who are these men in black anyway? Nothing identifying. I suspect that's by design. The entire place is rigged to blow. Jesus, those canisters. Bagley, is that... RDX nitrogen. Enough to level Parliament. Can you locate a detonator, Bagley? Not exactly, but there's a device streaming a fuckload of encrypted data from the floor above you. Yeah, that fits the bill. On my way. Bagley, is that not the detonator? No, but it's a transmitter sending a signal to a device on the floor above us. Safe to assume that would be the detonator we're looking for. They've 
staged dead sec propaganda all around the bombs. These pricks are gonna blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. These men in black are, they've got brass bollocks to set up in the center of government. I found the detonator. And it's definitely light. Bagley, I'm gonna need some help with this. Yes, you are, but sadly, I'm locked out. Fuck. Well, we don't have a chance without Bagley. Wait, I might know a workaround. We trained your manual overrides at MI5. You're full of surprises. Be quick about it. All right, Bagley, do your thing. I'm in. And the bombs have just armed themselves. Well, that may complicate matters. For fuck's sake. Can you defuse them or not? Of course I can, but I might also trip another failsafe and vaporize you, so fair warning. I expect this to draw some attention your way, Dalton. Oh, I'm counting on it. Company at our back door. Shit. Dalton, we've got some heat here at HQ. How long is this going to take, Bagley? Depends how often you interrupt me with questions. All right, everyone. Bases on, guns out. It's about to get real. I'll try and hold them off. Check your doors and corners. Oh, I've been hit! I put it in! Oh, no. Bagley, tell me you're close. Through security, now wading through terabytes of decoy code looking for the detonation sequence. Bagley, all day. Let's just say I'm both impressed and annoyed by how sophisticated this anti tamper security is. Still working. I need your physical appendages now. What's wrong? There are three slots on the left. One of them is the receiver. You need to pull the controller wire. Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm fucking not. Pull the wire. If this gets me blown up... <sighs> Bombs diffused. See? That wasn't so bad, was it? Bagley, you bastard. You nearly gave me a bloody heart attack then. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Whoa, what the fuck am I looking at? It appears Parliament is not the only target. More bombs are going live as we speak. On screen, Bagley. Fucking hell, we need to get the word out. Those sites need to be evacuated. They're spread out all over London. There isn't any time. But my sister's at the town conference. We have to do something. I picked up a transmitter on the roof that is sending out a signal to the other bomb sites. If you can reach it... I can shut it all down. So 
Sabine! Fuck! Dalton, we're breached! Go! The roof! Sabine, what's going on? We're being raided. It's a bloodbath. Her protocol is to wipe everything, including badly. I need him for the transmitter. I know, but if they get him, they get everything. Names, ops, locations. Okay, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Wipe him. Yes, wipe me. Do it, Sabine, and get the hell out of there. You're on your own. Dalton, if this goes... It won't. I'll see you at the rally point. I promise. Good luck. Suspect was there earlier. Check it out. with some important work. Important work? Killing thousands of... Exactly. To save the world. You do know Londoners have died before. Hmm? The plague, the Great Fire, the Blitz. It's not much fun. But destruction is always the cure. And it begins today. Zero day. Oh my god. Ago, a series of explosions devastated three sites in London. Authorities are asking residents to remain in their homes as the situation continues to develop. We have received no official casualty total, but it is expected for a series of candlelight vigils that brought closure to thousands of families and indeed to an entire city. London is now laser focused. They attend Downing Street where Nigel Cass, CEO of private military company Albion, received a mandate to secure London. Cass has vowed to hunt down dead set. Terrorist responses failed. Albion used cutting edge artificial intelligence systems and autonomous drones to capture the remaining members of dead set. A stark warning to would-be insurgents. Operations are posting record profits due to increased efficiencies in production and distribution, enabled by the use of technologies initially developed and approved for security purposes. A long overdue cleanup as crime numbers take a dive. Illegal gambling, drug trafficking, and prostitution all down following prosecutions of the leaders of four of London's five largest criminal syndicates. The streets of Camden. date is extended indefinitely by the government, life finally begins to return to normal. Curfews and travel restrictions have been lifted in all boroughs, thanks to the deployment. Big news outlets, reports of rioting in Trafalgar Square have been greatly exaggerated, possibly by foreign meddlers pushing a false narrative through social media. Albion is in complete control of a few about the circulation of fake news, conspiracy theories persisting in dark corners of the internet 
that terrorist group Dead Set were framed for the bombings have been roundly rejected. Our own reporters could not find a single Londoner willing to expound those theories on camera. The facts simply do not support any other story. I need to assemble a team, but I can't reboot DeadSec alone. Let me break into London CTOS and see who's available. I'm Claire Waters, and we've been discussing the hacktivist, now alleged terrorist group, DeadSec, on this week's Buccaneer Radio. I have Colin calling in. Colin, what's your take? Now, I've been saying from the start we should have round up dead sick and thrown them in jail. Now, I'll say they should all be lined up and shut. You don't find it awfully convenient that they've been fingered as the attackers, but we've seen no proof. Look at town! Look at our city! What more proof do you need? Well, Colin, I'd say you have to look at their history of non-violent action. Albion's put more civilians in the hospital in the past few months than dead sick ever has. I smell a scapegoat. Now I have Emily calling in. Emily, what's your take? You're absolutely right, Claire. The government's just framing DedSec because they want to make it seem like they have this under control. They probably have no clue who was behind the bombings. But that doesn't look good on the news, does it? DedSec's been a thorn in their side. Who better to pin it on? Angie, I have you next. What do you make of all this? I think if anything, DedSec showed their true colors. It's terrifying to think we harbored such a dangerous element for years. Terrorists in our own backyard. Do you find that safe more frightening than the different gangs in London like Clan Kelly? Clan Kelly might set your shop on fire and maybe they'd kill you, but even they wouldn't try to blow up all of Parliament. Next I have Crypto King. Do you feel safer using a pseudonym? Everyone should. Why make it easier for them to track you? And now we've seen what they're capable of and how far they're willing to go. Hold on. Do you mean the government? Are you suggesting the government was responsible for the bombing? Shit. Situation is worse than I thought. Ah. Uh. But there's a candidate. Looks like you're dead sex best hope. Glad to see you're alive. If you're still committed to the cause, DedSec needs you. I'll send you the coordinates to our last safe house. Meet me there. Hmm, fine. The bug, nibbling away on the rotting carcass of a once free Britain. Yum, yum. Hello, Bugs. This is the Bug. I'm Andy. This is Alison. Today, we're going to be pretending that everything is fine. Yeah, and back. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? That was as long as I could manage. A, a second and a half. A reality time now, however. And, uh, well, finally, today, we're going to road test the latest update to the CSAVE app, the government app that has brought the great British tradition of snitching on people you don't like back to the very heart of public life, the uh, school playground. I'm going to tell a new threat. It's got a whole new lease of life these days, thanks to uh, CSA. And isn't Britain all the more fun because of it? No more grumbling about your neighbours playing their music too loud, just simply report them to the state and have them, shall we say, involuntarily rehoused at Hotel Cass, the uh, chain of hotels that was formerly known as the prison service. What was the slogan? Is it if you see something, say something? Or if you think you might at some point see something, say something? Or if you haven't seen anything but don't like someone, say something anyway. Uh, so, well, let's have a look at this new app. Alex, I'm sure you've got it on, on, on your phone. I mean, at, at first glance, well, the interface is lovely. It's so neatly designed. A simple button for someone. Yes. So much. Don't fuck with me, huh? This 
I've downloaded a patch to your optics so you can access our security system. It's set up so that I can't just let someone who isn't dead sec in. You'll have to do the manual override. Manual override? Shouldn't be a problem. Not like I have to swear a blood oath or anything. <laughs> right? One of Sabine's, are you? I'll see you downstairs later then. Well, here goes nothing. Anyone home? No? Well then, let's get the power back on. Registration detected. Identify yourself or I'll seal the exit, hack your optic, and read you every drunken email you ever wrote until you starve. Good luck. I hardly drink. Besides, Sabine sent me. Sabine's alive? Well, that's one piece of good news. I'm Bagley, DedSec's definitely not stolen, highly advanced AI assistant, and it seems I've been out of commission for a few months. Anyway, why don't you go connect me to the DedSec network so I can become more powerful than you could possibly imagine? I mean, catch up on what I missed. this. Hello and welcome back to The Upload. In this episode, we're talking about CTOS 3.0, the city operating system that's now powering all of London. For those of you who need reminding, as if anyone does at this point, CTOS was first used in Chicago in 2014. Ah, that's it. I'm reconnected to the network, downloading our database, news archives, and... Oh, oh, oh no. Terrorist group DedSec responsible for deadly bombings in London. Dalton Wolf dead? I leave you people alone for a second and you immediately cock it all up. Someone must have framed DedSec for the bombings. But who could possibly do that? There's a gap in my memory after Dalton, well, let's be honest, after I disarmed the bomb at Parliament. I'm missing information about what happened after I was taken offline. But from what I can infer, an unknown hacker group identified only as Zero Day was involved. I believe this Zero Day staged the attacks and framed DedSec for their dirty work. Come to my terminal. Sabine is requesting a video call. Patching in Sabine Brandt now. I suggest you listen very closely to anything she has to say. There you are. I'm glad you made it. Backley. God, it's good to hear your demented little voice. Is your memory intact? Not even slightly. The last record I have is of our HQ being raided. My only lead is a group known as Zero Day. Ring any bells? No. But the HQ was attacked by some men in black, the same that were at Parliament. Maybe working together. We didn't stand a chance. They just gunned everyone down. Jesus. How did you survive? I managed to escape through the sewers to Camden. A contact smuggled me out of the city, and I've been hiding out in the north since. Prudent. Your profile is red flagged as a high priority target in the city's surveillance system. Even a partial recognition here would have you hunted down and shot on sight. These days, dead sex reputation isn't exactly top notch. I'd like to make London a better place, but if I was caught working with you. Listen, if anyone knows anything about risks, it's me. I lost everything and everyone. But it comes down to this. London is in a death spiral. And if DedSec can't pull it out, trust me, no one can. The city needs a resistance. And it starts with you. What do you say? Can't walk away from this now. Let's get started. Excellent. New user registered. Welcome to DedSec. Now, it would be irresponsible of us to release you naked and mewling into the wild. 
You'll find equipment around the safe house that are essential items in your dead sick. We have a sophisticated system for hiding your identity from facial recognition tech. It's called a mask. And while we're here, perhaps we can talk about updating your wardrobe. I mean, look at you. Come on. You've got all these fancy new toys, but it's also important to know the basics. You need to learn how to throw a punch and how to take one. Albion will escalate if you come at them with a gun and shoot you down. We want to avoid collateral damage. In DedSec, we try to use guns only as a last resort. Have you already met Connie Robinson? She owns the pub and is an old DedSec contact, not to mention a champion amateur boxer. Go to the practice ring and she'll show you how to stop flinching when someone cocks a punch at you. I'll be right down. Could use the warm-up. Just like that. You want to get in under my block. Find the weak point. Just like that. Couldn't have done that better myself. Quick on your feet now. You want to create distance. Nice one. Nice one! Gear in order? Know enough not to punch yourself in the face or get shot for pulling out a gun too early? Brilliant. I'm working out how we find Zero Day and ruin their day, but I need someone with actual legs to do the legwork. Hope you're ready. We have some damage control to do if we want to change the perception that we're a bunch of violent thugs. I'll let you be the judge of how best to handle yourself, but remember, you represent DedSec now. Okay, where do we begin? Make no mistake, London is under occupation. Armed mercenaries patrol our streets, allegedly to keep people safe, but really they're keeping the people scared. No wonder Albion has so much power. They've scared people into submission. So, we have to ignite the will to resist in the people of London by showing them that Albion aren't the solution. They're the problem. For that, we'll need information. I'm pushing two sets of coordinates to your optic. Cheers, Bagley. I've identified two opportunities. One, we're going to disrupt some Albion propaganda. Remind the people it's not Albion's way or the highway. Two, we need intel about Albion operations if we want to throw a spanner in their plans. You game? You bet. Let's give people something to fight for. Brilliant. Let's get the people of London on board. Building a resistance group requires operatives with specialized skills. Technical abilities, firearms handling, and physical training are all valuable. 
bare knuckled boxing rings are a good place to find people who are good at throwing punches or taking them. By defeating each opponent in an arena, you'll have an opportunity to face its best fighter. Prove your physical superiority and they may consider joining DeadSec. I'm guessing that's some sort of primate society thing. Albion have established an operational base in the Royal Court of Justice. You must be joking. Do we even have a justice system anymore? I don't see how Albion owning the courts gives anyone a chance at a fair trial. Exactly. But it likely means there's information here about how Albion are targeting dissenters, the who and the why. We need that data if we're going to disrupt their operation. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> they got one. Tag them. Someone's tempering with the door. A list of what Albion consider high-value targets that are threats to the peaceful running of London. See here, a journalist. And this one runs a community shelter. Good God, bar your doors. What the hell? All suspected of sowing rebellion or exhibiting tendencies towards... <laughs> Albion is systematically arresting people even before they rise up. Joke's on them. This list can actually help us find like-minded allies willing to help us. Well done.
Now, let's disrupt some of Albion's propaganda and give some hope to the people. I'm so sick of seeing Albion's brand everywhere I look. This city isn't theirs. They need to stop acting like it is. There's going to be that much less once you're done here. Let's give Camden a break from these eyesores. Okay, I'm on it. If you hijack that scissor lift, you could use it to access the rooftop. Yes, nicely done. That'll get people's attention. Let them know someone is standing up to Albion. Light the spark that they can stand up to. If nothing else, it'll relieve their eye strain. What's next? We're already seeing results from what you've done. That list we found named a journalist in Camden who's been investigating Albion. We reached out and he's got information that can help us. I think you should meet with him. Send me the location, please. This cave... It's just calling out for some art. What's the point of risking your neck out there if you don't get any credit for it? Paste ups let the people of London know that DedSec is back, and the increased visibility might even encourage some of them to donate to the cause. That should get some attention. you need some help what can i do you're the crew that's been sticking it to albion can't believe someone else is thought i was alone right not doing much just putting the word out but you taking action mate we don't have a choice do we otherwise albion will get more powerful and then we really won't stand a chance against them you said you had something for us almost got clipped finding this all of albion's operational data for the entire city convoy routes surveillance targets assets it's all there thinking you can make good use of that can't ask for more. Here's a sample. Albion's closed King's Cross for the public, right? But what people don't know is that they're using it as their logistics center. Materials, troops, whatever. A lot of it runs through there. You want to give the people a huge boost? Hit that place. Put it out of commission, and you'll severely hamstring Albion's operations here in Camden. Hell, everywhere. Guess that's where we start, huh?
Albion's operational plans are just what we needed to really get some traction. We'll have to take a close look at this. Now, how do we take King's Cross offline? Albion's housed a massive hybrid power generator in there. Output must be immense. You cause a power surge, get into that generator ain't gonna be easy. They've locked it up tighter since I last saw. Guys, ideas? My news drones are still in here. They should be functional. You can use one of them. Probably have better luck piloting it too, yeah? Well, causing a power surge in a hybrid power generator isn't like making a toasting. We're going to need detailed specifications. Let's have a look. Have a look at this. Cool, looks bloody complicated. Noosey's he's got a pretty functional camera. Would a picture do you, Bagley? It would indeed. According to this, there's an override code that'll get us into the generator's system. That's it. Use the code on the generator and I can trigger a power surge. It should be enough to take King's Cross offline. And the rail system too. Here we go. information out of St. Pancras. Albion convoys, informants, gear, you name it. Everything we need to ignite the people of London, like we did in Camden. Derail Albion's operations and give the people a reason to rise up borough by borough. The more we do that, the more we'll get allies flocking to the cause. We'll show London that DedSec is here for them. That was off the chain, mate. I knew DedSec weren't the bad guys Albion was saying. Now the rest of Camden will too. Thanks. Thank you. Now that you've shown the borough what DedSec is really all about, there are going to be folks wanting to join up. A lot of people have been looking for a way to fight back. In fact, there's one in particular I suspect will contact you very soon. I happen to know they're champion at the bit. The more the better. DedSec could use the help. You'll fit right in. The more people willing to fight the system, the better. I must say, I'm rather looking forward to the experience. Let's go hunt some baddies. Brilliant. Well, fuck me, you're still alive. I owe been a tenor. Not only that, but your resistance handiwork just opened up a whole new source of information. So now I spy with my hypothetical eye something interesting at the Ministry of Civic Management. What is it? The Signals Intelligence Response Service, or SIRS, or the Old Grey Gestapo, have developed a surveillance technology called AR Reconstruction. It's the leading edge of privacy rights violation, and thus it could be very useful in our attempts to find Zero Day.
All right. I'm here. In theory, the AR reconstruction should allow me to use various sources of surveillance data to rebuild past events. Access a data relay, and I can scrape all the metadata for this area. That's it. Now, let's take this autocratic wet dream for a test drive. Something's wrong with that bot. Locking it down. That's fine. This door's malfunctioning. Clear. Come out. We know you're there. CTOSAR, data reconstruction in progress. Okay, this is actually getting a bit creepy. You're right, we definitely need this extremely cool thing I want for investigating Zero Day. Shit, for some reason I can't clone it to our servers. All right, access the network here and let's see if we can't find out where to nick one. Located the CTOS hub. The SIRS has deployed this technology at their HQ, and I've just nabbed their manual on how to set up the system. Now, Scarpa, you can't steal their toy if they throw you in the gulag.
interesting. I bet there's probably more. So, Bagley, how do we get our hands on this AR reconstruction tech? The program is hosted on a server that's on the roof of SIRS HQ. All you have to do is grab the whole thing, then take it to a few high-density locations so I could recalibrate it to the Deadset network and clone my own version. What? Take the physical server off the roof? How exactly do you expect me to manage that? We need to find someone with access to a cargo or construction drone that can fly it off of there. Perfect opportunity to recruit a heavy lifter to the cause, I'd say. All right, so where do I find this heavy lifter? Well, let's put our thinking caps on, shall we? Now, who in London would have access to a construction drone? Could it be a construction worker? Obviously. Thank you, Bellend. Not so hard, was it? There's an active construction yard nearby. I dare say you'll probably be able to find a construction worker to recruit there. Here's the coordinates. need to find a construction worker. Occupation, check. Drone, check. This could be the one. They look promising. Oh, they have a beastly drone friend. I mean, the person looks efficient too. They look promising. who might want to take back their city. Shit, are you saying you're dead sick? I could really use your help. Perhaps. What's the situation? Well, I'm fucking stupid is the main thing. I had a medical issue that, of course, our completely guided NHS doesn't cover. So I went to Clan Kelly and, long story short, now I'm a slave. Do me a solid and free me. All right. We'll see what we can do. Tank Kelly will bleed our new friend dry if we don't do something. This particular construction site is a money laundering front for a Kelly chapter out of Camden Market. Any record of the debt would be stored there. Okay. While the drones observing your every move might make you feel like you're living in a city-shaped prison, What's bad news for society is good news for DeadSec. You can hack those nosy little buggers and use them to scour ahead. Looks like these Kelly vermin have built themselves a nice little nest. Quite the operation. If you're looking for a terminal or some kind of device that Clan Kelly would have stored the debt records on. Cannabis and fentanyl together at last through the miracle of genetics. Whatever happened to good old fashioned cocaine? Right, you're going to raise all record of their debt, putting our new friend back into the black and more importantly out of Clan Kelly's reach. A brel.
Transport complete. Look over there. I'm not here. No one here. Moving on. You can't hide forever. Good news. Your debt to the Kellys has been wiped, so you're free. Next time, try not to let the gangsters balance your books, hmm? Wait a minute. You don't seem like terrorists at all. Did the state control media lie to me? But seriously, thank you. DedSec could always use more people. Interested? Yeah, all right. Fuck it. The DedSec resurgence have prompted Parliament to approve the use of lethal force for Albion contractors. CEO Nigel Cast had this to say. DedSec terrorists will quickly find that Albion, unlike the police force of this city, is battle-tested and proven in the field. The Prime Minister's office has called this shoot-to-kill mandate a drastic but necessary Crazy measure out there, right? to make London safe. Here, your new optic. Guess this is the moment of truth, yeah? Feels like signing up means kissing my normal life goodbye. What's normal? The government's literally letting Albion shoot us in the streets. Yeah, I know it's a hellscape. I'm not blind to that. Just let me say goodbye to everything I care about. You're not leaving anything behind. You're helping to make the world a better and safer place. <sighs> yeah. You're right. Let's go. Welcome to the Resistance. <laughs>